so here's what we want to do. We want to add something in from each of these categories to make sure we're getting at least somewhat of a rounded perspective. First category, fruit. Here's the, here's the food in all traditions of herbalism and nutrition that gets the kind of the green light. This is important to know, really important to know. Berries. Berries get the green light. Every system of herbalism and nutrition, berries, 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 berries. You don't know what to eat, I don't know what, you know, I, is a banana good? You know that guy who eats 15 bananas a day? You go meet him, then you tell me if that's good. Maybe you should be doing that. Bananas what you use if you're living in the tropics and you need to do something that can compost your stuff fast. You throw it in the bananas. But that seedless banana that's like pure starch sugar is not really appropriate for where we're at. It's not appropriate. And actually it causes candida and all kinds of sugar problems. You know, I, you know, so does Coca-Cola and Pepsi and Dr. Pepper and all that too. But you know, that's not a joke. Seedless fruit is going to make you seedless. Who wants to be shriveled up and seedless here? Dan, let's see a show of hands. <laughs> no way? Seedless. That's the doctrine of signature. Sign of nature. Do the math. Look at the word. Sign of nature. Signature. Nature's always telling you. Okay, so if you have a seedless fruit,